Good afternoon, everyone. News about Ebola continues to develop minute by minute. Here's what we know right now. Fighting fear with the facts on the deadly virus, we now know doctors at special facilities are treating two Ebola patients while health officials monitor other cases to make sure the disease hasn't spread. Craig Boswell has the very latest from Bethesda, Maryland. Now, that suspected patient aboard the cruise ship first came in contact with Thomas Eric Duncan's specimen 19 days ago. The incubation period for Ebola is 21 days. The nurses with the virus picked up the symptoms early enough through self-monitoring. That means checking your temperature twice a day and reporting symptoms, including headache and vomiting right away. The hunt is on for a jail escapee in Hardin County tonight, and deputies want your help in finding him. Take a look. 30-year-old Robert Rush got away from the jail just after 11 o'clock this morning. Authorities say he is considered dangerous. And take a look at this video. This is from about an hour before he took off from the jail. As you can see, he's being booked in. We're told he was taken in on a felony warrant. Rush took off on a green four-wheeler, we're told, that was uh, has camouflage on the back of it. Investigators say he stole it from a nearby home. Well, this story's a talker. We told you about the woman who went to jail for six hours because of her messy yard. Here's the update. She did the time, but she may have to go back to the slammer. Stephen Powell has the story. It may not be the last time that Holloway is sent to jail for a messy yard. A judge says if the city still doesn't think her yard is clean enough, she may be forced to spend another night behind bars. Still to come at 5, Spirit Week took on a negative tone after two boys were sent home for wearing dresses. Why the superintendent now says that won't happen again. Well, it's a story that sparked outrage online. Two high school sophomores had to go home from school for taking part in Spirit Week. They say they weren't told they couldn't wear dresses. Drew Mickelson has the story. Coming up, October may be known for Halloween, but it's also a great month to get some deals. Well, even President Obama couldn't get out of an awkward situation at a New York restaurant. <laughs> the president shared that story while he signed an executive order aimed at protecting your identity. The executive order calls for newer, secure technology for government-issued debit and credit cards. The measures include applying microchips and PIN number technology and upgrading retail payment card terminals at federal agencies. And Consumer Reports says more items will go on sale next month, including baby products, video cameras, and toys. On 70. Still nice to have the sun, for sure. Mm -hmm. Grant, thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. The CBS EV News is coming up next, and we'll see you back here for Heartland News at 6. Now, with the KF.